Hello guys, what is going on? Tech from UK here. So for today's video we have a really special webcam. This is the Obspot Meet 2 and it's powered by AI. This is a 4K webcam. Um, this is how the box looks like. The front is a bit damaged but I think that's from uh, transport. And um, on the back right here we have some specs and what's inside the box. So we got the Obspot Meet 2 privacy cover, magnetic mount, USB-C to USB-A adapter, USB Type-C cable, user manual and a warranty card. Um, the box is quite simple, obviously the webcam comes in different color variations, so we, you can get it on uh, grey, white and uh, this light blue cyan or um, a mix between green and blue anyway it looks really sick it's it's like a mint color um i like that one a lot but today we got the white variant and uh let's open this box up i'm gonna show you what you get inside the box how the accessories look like and after that we are going to set the camera up to my pc and possibly compare it to another webcam so let's go ahead and do that right now All right, so after opening the box, this is pretty much what we get. As always, we will start with the small stuff first. So this is a user manual in different languages. It has uh, pictures. Make sure you give this a read just uh, so you know how to set up the webcam and what features it has and how to connect it. It's always a two, three minute read, so it's definitely worth it. We have a warranty policy card. So basically it tells you what is covered under warranty and how much warranty you got. We have a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable which will connect your webcam to your PC or your laptop. They have also included a USB Type-C to USB-A adapter because they probably know not a lot of people have spare USB Type-C ports so that's a really nice add from them. We have this beautiful tiny magnetic uh, privacy cover for the webcam uh, it's got the Obspot branding on both sides it's uh, pretty cool all, it, all you have to do to use it is just pop it on the front of the camera lens and that's it it will stay there and we have the webcam itself which is really tiny we're gonna get back to it in a second we have that the stand that can go on top of your monitor which is also magnetic because the camera magnetically attaches to this bit right here. So you can have it like this, or you can have it on a vertical format. It's really, really cool. I like it a lot because uh, you can adjust the angle, you can adjust the position of the webcam. If you want to put your webcam on a tripod or on a stand, like I have one right here, you can do it, it's got a thread hole right here. The webcam on the back has a USB Type-C input, obviously to plug this USB Type-C cable. And uh, yeah, it's really tiny. I'm really surprised by the size. The weight is also nice as well. It's not lightweight, so it's definitely some good components in there. And pretty much that's what you get inside the box. So we will go ahead now and set it up. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks when it's set up to on top of your monitor, let's say. And after that, we are going to compare it to another webcam with similar price, the Pixio Stream Cube. And we can go from there. I'll let you guys decide which one is better. Uh, this one can do 4K, so I will show you how the 4K quality looks. But when I'll do the test, I'll keep it 1080p, 60fps on both webcams. So it's a fair test. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Alright, so this is how the camera looks like when it's uh, on top of your monitor, on its stand. Uh, as you can see, it's really, really tiny. It's a very tiny camera. And the image quality, it's amazing. It's got this uh, autofocus feature that you can disable. They also have an app called Opsbot Center, where you can have some effects. I'm gonna turn it on right now. But as you can see, the image quality is great. Uh, it auto focuses on you if you go back and forth, for example, like this and like this. 
probably you saw that. Um, yeah, the Obsbot Center, it's um, a really cool piece of software. Let's restart it again without a source. If you go here to video preview, you can set uh, the quality 1080p 60. You can set the quality here 4K 30, 1080p 60, 720p 60, 1080p 30. You have different uh, quality levels. You can uh, have hotkeys as well. So device one, if you have more than one, general settings, software as well you can update the software it regularly receives uh, software updates which is great on this side of uh, the software side of the obsbot center you have auto framing and uh, you can do like a close-up auto framing you can change where the camera shows the position of the camera uh, as you can see now it auto frames itself so if I move, if I move a bit, the camera will move as well. Let me just adjust the camera so you guys can see it better. Just like so. That's that's very very cool, and uh, obviously you can have it on group mode. You can turn off auto framing. You can zoom in. You can zoom out. If you're zoomed in. If you use this uh, kind of a virtual joystick right here, you can choose where the camera is looking at. But obviously I like to keep mine on one uh, X zoom, so on default settings basically. The colors are really, really good. I mean, the red is red, the blue is blue. The colors on this look exactly the same um, as in real life, so I'm very very impressed by that. The color of my skin looks very natural uh, There's no effects to it, but if you want to add effects um, Right here under the image tab If you go to the image tab uh, You have autofocus autofocus mode face or global exposure you can adjust the exposure white balance anti-flicker temperature, contrast, saturation, sharpness, all these settings you can tinker with, but if you leave it on auto, it will just do it by itself because of that AI function and uh, it will probably know what's best for you. Uh, we also have face filter effects. So if you go to beauty right here, you can choose from native, classic, man, you can change the tone of your skin, the smoothness, uh, make your skin clearer, make your face slimmer, stuff like that. So if you're doing TikTok and whatnot, uh, you can use that. I like to keep mine on normal. There's nothing wrong with my skin or face. So yeah, apart from that, the quality, the quality is really great. I'm really impressed by it. You can see every crack in my palm. Um, this is how my skin looks like in the video this is how it looks in real life so it's pretty much very very similar of course i have the light that's beaming on the back of my hand but in real life it's exactly exactly the same um i will go ahead now and install a second camera i'm gonna probably have obs two images side by side i'm gonna install the pixio stream cube 2 and i'm gonna put them side by side to see which one has a better quality because they are both pretty much the same price uh, the only difference is that this one is 4K, that one is 1440p. That's why I will keep them both at 1080p60 to give them a fair shot. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so here we have both webcams side by side. On the left here we have the Obspot Me 2 and on the right we have the Pixio Stream Cube. As you can see, the colors are much more closer to real life straight out of the box on the obs bot i mean it looks it just looks better the image on the left uh also the image on the right looks a bit faded um the quality is not as good even though i think that one has a bigger sensor it just looks a bit faded as in this 
it looks amazing. Um, this RGB mic changes colors. As you can see, this deep purple and then deep red. It's really how it's intended to look in real life on the Opsbot Me 2. They're both really good cameras and uh, they both do great stuff. They both come with software. They both have a good image quality, but in my honest opinion, I would prefer the Opsbot Me 2 just because of the quality you get and uh, just how everything looks like. And yeah, um, I will let you guys decide which one is better based on your opinion. If you guys want to buy these webcams, I'm going to have links in the video description down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.